Hello everybody, welcome back to the forest job. Uh, it's a, uh, a Monday and it's the first game that uh, we will be taking in since the transfer window reopened and that means that we have a new player in our ranks. Erling Haaland has had a game for us and as you can see, bottom left hand corner, well, he didn't exactly get off to a scoring start. Let's show you the highlights of the game against Sheffield United as well as the game previous to that. Those highlights coming up right now. So yeah, Erling Haaland barely appearing in the highlights for the Sheffield United match. Hopefully he can do a better job today. We did rest Arkas against United. And I wonder if maybe that was an awful, awful idea. We did win the previous game without Arkas in the starting lineup. And that did maybe lull me into a full sense of security. Thinking that we might be possibly able to win a game without him up front. So... This game is going to be different, and it's going to be different because Arkas is going to start, and he's going to start alongside Erling Haaland. Uh, Jude Bellingham not looking particularly great, so I think we'll swap him out for Molino. Ihatra not looking great either, so Hernandez can come in for him. And uh, Kamavinga form is not great. Do we change things up from the get-go? Eh, I think we do. Why not? Let's give... Let's give Mal no. Tonali technically is not a uh, central midfielder. You can see his rating drops dramatically. But he does play very well in that position. So we're going to go with him in that position today. And uh, if Erling Haaland doesn't have a good first half, then we can always bring one of our many other strikers off the bench. I've made the decision that if unless someone comes in with a silly money offer for any of our strikers, I'm not even going to entertain the possibility of putting them up for sale. I'm just going to struggle on with a massively bloated squad. 
Someone's going to be unhappy at the end of the season. They won't have enough game time. But uh, frankly, I don't care. It's a headache for the future manager of Nottingham Forest, not for me. It's not like football manager where they'll come to my door banging away saying, I want to play. That's not how this game works. So, Norwich City in the FA Cup. One game, two a finish, no draws, no replays. We'll see who can progress in this fantastic old tournament, the uh, oldest knockout tournament in world football, at least to my knowledge. Certainly the longest running still active competition as Ainori wins the ball here in the left back position. Looks to slide Erling Haaland in, but it's intercepted well there. Goes out for a throw into us, and uh, oh, Tonali's been beaten to the ball there by Ida, who, if I'm remembering correctly, is an Irish centre forward. Here's Worrell to Busquets, back to Worrell again, back into Busquets. There's Wilson ahead of him, and he finds him. Nice little ball out to the outside by Z uh, by Wilson. I'll get the names right, ready eventually. All right, even. Good Lord, what is going on with my mouth today? I cannot form coherent words. Tetty. Oh, Haaland just getting a touch on there. Tetty taking a little bit of a risk. This is a good first game for us to show Haaland's abilities. Here's Arkas. Here's Haaland. And, uh, well, maybe it's not a good first game for us to do that. As uh, we looked at... Oh, my goodness me. We cannot seemingly make a pass happen. And uh, Wilson is being outpaced by Cease here. He may just get in behind him. Yes, he does. And, uh, oh, dear. Well, Ida could have been in there. Worrell was put in all kinds of problems by that ball and then didn't do himself any favours with the way he dealt with it. Here's Anderson to Tetty. Back to Anderson again. Out wide to Gerardo. Aitnori is beaten momentarily by Gerardo is a shot on goal fortunately for us it gets skied over the crossbar so we restart from a goal kick with uh, Alexander Nubel who will play it short out to Salisu who then moves it out onto the wing here nice dinked ball over the top for Adam Ploshek back out to Aitnori Ploshek. That's nice. And again, the ball is really poor. Too easily intercepted. Salisu's done a great job of intercepting that, though. And here comes Haaland, rampaging forwards into the path of Arkas. And it's intercepted again by a Norwich boot. And it's put out for a throw-in right in the corner on the, uh, the right-hand side. Sorry, the left-hand side. Don't know my rights from lefts today. Off the Norwich penalty area. Here's Oriol Busquets out to Ait Nori. Nice one two. Nori looking for the cross. In it comes. Arkas very nearly getting in on it. Here's Tonali. Still Tonali. Lines up a shot. Good save by the goalkeeper. Goes out for a corner kick. Tonali growing into this game now. As he gets more time on the ball, Harry Wilson going to try and cross this one out. It's going to be an outswinger. The goalkeeper probably won't want to come for it. Busquets rises and the goalkeeper punches behind. Didn't have to. I suspect it was actually going out for a goal kick until the goalkeeper had a go at that. Busquets tries to get his head onto it. Loshek will rescue it. Here's a fuck. Early ball into the box. Arkas making a, a run towards it, but was never in any likelihood really going to get hold. Here's Tonali. It's Harry Wilson. Tonali can't control that and away come Norwich on the break. They've got numbers here. Cease to Gerardo. Wilson looking to try and win the ball and he might just manage it. Gerardo doing really well, very strong. Worrell heads back to goalkeeper and uh, what looked like a bit of a risky header actually ends up being a very, very routine and safe one. As Tonali now back to Aitnori. Lovely run from the French left back. 
Harland. And the referee is given a free kick right on the edge of the area, just inside the D. Harland complaining to the referee and Arkas asking why there isn't a yellow card being shown here. We'll have to wait and see what the infraction was. I didn't actually see it during the play. And, well, if anything, I think Arkas has actually kicked one of the Norwich players. So I'm quite surprised that a free kick has been given for that. Harry Wilson, of course, the resident free kick specialist for Nottingham Forest. Not scored in a little while. Let's see if he can get one on target here. Oh, he does. That is superb from Harry Wilson. The wall not doing its job. And Wilson takes advantage. I thought for a second he was just under hitting this one. But, oh, my goodness. What a free kick. The whip and pace on the ball. Too much for the goalkeeper to deal with. And the one man in the wall that decided not to jump just so happened to be the one that the ball fizzed over the top of. And thanks to Harry Wilson, who there have been transfer rumours about recently, it is 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. Erling Haaland still not troubling the goalkeeper, let alone the uh, the scorekeeper. Parado, lovely defensive play by Loshek. Arkas chasing, making a nuisance of himself. Good ball out to Cease. That's an excellent ball to Cease. And it'll go out of play for a throw into Forest. I don't know why Zofak has held it up here. We get the ball now. It's Wilson. Oh my goodness me, that is that's not the pass I was looking for. I was trying to get it into the feet of uh, the little Italian maestro Tonali, who does have it now. Harland. Ball over the top, looking for Hloshek. Might be something to keep it in. Can't quite manage it. And uh, we, we are to expect teething problems, of course. As good as uh, a player as Erling Haaland is, he has to acclimatise to his new team and his new teammates. And so do they with him. So it could take some time before we... Oh, Wilson very nearly intercepting the ball there. Could take some time before we see the true best out of Erling Haaland. We hope to see something from him before the end of the season. Here's Cease. Great strength on the ball. Now Max Ahrens. Tetti. Tackled by Busquets. And Nubel managing to save the ball with some ease. And there's the half-time whistle. Nottingham Forest ahead then. Thanks to a, a 35th minute free kick from Harry Wilson. It was a lovely whipped free kick with plenty of pace on it. And uh, Nottingham Forest just about worth their lead at half-time. I think that is as much as we're going to see of Erling Haaland today. Eddie Nketiah comes on in his place. And uh, we'll see if Nketiah can have a little bit more luck. Of course, when he joined Nottingham Forest, we had a very similar situation where it took him a minute to really get to grips with the players around him and his new surroundings but once he started scoring he couldn't stop the little lad Tonali Salasu I don't know why he's going so far up the, hill, from the field but uh, my goodness me he was very nearly the recipient of an assist there that's lovely from Salasu and he keeps it in Lovely play. Now Adam Hloshek to Oriol Busquets. So fuck back to Busquets. Now into Tonali. Oh, that's lovely. Can Wilson finish it? He can't, but it's because of a fantastic save by the Norwich City goalkeeper. Hats off to him. He did very well there. It was a calm take by Harry Wilson. Lovely pass by Nketiah. Wilson just using his body to keep the ball away from the uh, attentions of the defender. Hitting a left-footed effort low down and to the goalkeeper's right. And the goalkeeper, Takeda, managing to affect the save. Now another corner kick, which Harry Wilson will again take on this right-hand side. Swings it outwards. Ike Nori looking to get onto this and does manage to. And somehow Harry Wilson... <laughs> 
It's come all the way through to him, and he was offside. I was hoping, perhaps, that Ait Nori might intercept that one first, but no such luck as Takeda restarts with a goal kick. Lumps it up towards midfield. Salasu wins that easily. Arkas could be offside. Doesn't matter because he's intercepted by the Norwich City defence. Arkas again just running the lines, trying to intercept a Norwich City pass. Not having that much luck at the moment. Timo Puki doing a good job of winning the ball ahead of Salasu. Busquets slides in, wins the ball, but unfortunately it ends up at the feet of Cease. That's lovely by Busquets. That's not so good by Busquets, but we get away with it. Out to Salasu, to Ait Nori, back to Salasu again. And Joe Worrell. To Nali. To the feet of Harry Wilson. Oh, he was looking. He was looking for Arkas, couldn't quite find him. Lovely early cross by Zayfak and it's gone in off the head of Arkas. Goodness gracious me. A lovely bit of inspiration by the Dutch right back. Didn't look like he was in any kind of position to cross the ball, but he gave it a go. And Arkas on the end of it, not known for his heading prowess. But he sticks that one away and it's 2-0 here now. Brilliant cross there by Zephok. Use the L1 button to affect the early cross. And the angle that he was at, he ended up essentially crossing it as though he was square onto the box. Lovely old job. So here we go, 2-0. Job on and Ketia intercepting the ball but can't hang on to it. The pace of the ball was too much for his feet to contain. Here's Loshek. Arkas. Shiri. And Norwich get it away again. Cantwell winning the header. Lobs one forward now. Zayfuck wins the header. Wilson, that's not the pass again. I wanted Loshek first time, but it'll do. Oh, my goodness me. At just the wrong moment, Oriol Busquets decides he's going to do his defensive duties. That is annoying, but never mind. Wilson just couldn't get onto the ball in time before it was intercepted by the Norwich player. Long ball up the middle. Worrell underneath. Oh dear, that's a terrible bounce for, for uh, Nottingham Forest. They get away with it. And say, fuck, what is he doing with that pass there? Thankfully, Salasu is doing his job. Knocks one up towards say, fuck. To Worrell now. Looking for Busquets. To Nali. I oh, saw Hloshek in space and he just found him, no problem at all. And again, I've timed the pass awfully there because Nketiah was making a very intelligent looking run. Oh, he's intercepted the ball. Arkas is through on goal. And he's missed it. <laughs> oh my goodness me, what a chance that was for Arkas. And he's fluffed his lines. To be fair, he could have taken it a couple more steps in before shooting. Wanted the first time shot and it didn't really come off for him, unfortunately. So changes to be made now. Oriol Busquets looking tired. So Tonali will step into his role and Molino will come in at central midfield. Hudson Adoyi to come on for Adam Hloshek. Have we got one more change? No, we don't have any more changes. So that is going to be the shape of things for the rest of the match. I completely forgot that we made that substitution at half time. So we only had two changes left that we could make. So here we are. Arkas will finish the game. I was tempted by the idea of bringing him off and uh, giving somebody else a go up top. Uh, there's a long ball again, which is dealt well with. Molino picks it up and plays it back to Aitnori. 
Hudson the Doyle now. Ike Nori once more. Oh, is that a penalty? It's not, but I think maybe there's a call for one. The crowd don't seem to be booing Verissa. Oh my God, it's easy for me to say. Veriferously. So uh, maybe it wasn't, but uh, oh my goodness. I'm just trying the cheeky little passes now, and they're not really working out for us, unfortunately. Referee says play on there as we caught one of the Norwich players. Worrell's done very nicely there. Harry Wilson. Adoy might not get to that. It doesn't matter. The full-time whistle goes. 2-0 in the FA Cup. Norwich vanquished by the defending champions. Nottingham Forest, who will move on to the next round of the competition thanks to a first-half wonder free kick by Harry Wilson. When they're that close to goal, you don't expect them to go in. But uh, unfortunately for Norwich, he managed to psych out the one player who really did need to jump in the wall and uh, managed to whip it in over his head. Then in the second half, Arkas, speaking of heads, managed to get himself a headed goal. A little bit of collector's item, that, as uh, we see some of the uh, attacking attempts by Nottingham Forest from earlier on in the match. Let's have a look at how the stats line up at the end of the game. And we can clearly see that one team was in the ascendancy for pretty much the entirety of the 90 minutes. Nottingham Forest with six shots, with five of those finding their way on target. Two goals for their troubles with 54% of the overall possession. And, uh, well, 144 passes to Norwich's 106. Now, possession and passing are not necessarily indicators of superiority. But in this instance, I think it clearly shows who the better team was. Harry Wilson with the man of the match performance, getting his team ahead with that wonderful left-footed free kick. Although Arkas could be uh, very much understood to be aggrieved slightly that he's had that lovely bottle of champagne stolen away from him by his Welsh teammate. So there we go. Here's the rest of the results from the, uh, the FA Cup and uh, Arsenal with a 4-0 win over Wolves. Woof. Dear, oh dear. West Ham also doing the dirty on Derby County by 4-0. And uh, let's have a look at what that does to the brackets. You can see that, uh, if I can find my own team, Nottingham Forest, bottom left-hand corner there, will play West Ham United in the next round of the FA Cup, a team who have scored four goals in their last two cup matches. So will history repeat itself? Well, let's hope one of these uh, brackets repeats itself because West Ham, having scored four goals in their last two matches, will be playing Nottingham Forest, who scored one in their first round, two in the second round, and uh, have not conceded in either game. So that'll do us for another episode of the Forest Job. We will return for Premier League action tomorrow. Hopefully we can get a tune out of Erling Haaland. But as I said earlier, remember it could be a little bit too early for him at the moment, given that he is getting used to uh, a new team and uh, new surroundings so with that in mind until next time thank you very much for watching take care i'll see you soon bye bye